Hello. I heard that you all enjoyed yesterday's story. What did you think of it? I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, today's story has a very special character in it. Today's story features a wolf. Now this is a wolf in disguise. This wolf is disguised as a woodcutter because it's from the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Can you think of any other stories that have wolves in them? What ideas do you have? Come on, tell me. Good ideas. Well, this wolf isn't in today's story, but we've got another wolf in today's story. Or is it a wolf? Because today's story is called Brenda is a Sheep by Morag Hood. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. These are sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bah! This is also a sheep. I'll give you a little close up look. Does it look like a sheep? Hmm. This sheep is called Brenda. Brenda has a very nice woolly jumper. Brenda does all the things that sheep do. Here she is picking grass because Brenda is a sheep. The sheep learn lots of new games from their friend Brenda, like catch, catching a, an arrow from a bow and arrow, teeth sharpening and tag. Brenda loves tag. But no matter how hard she tries, she can never catch anyone. They always get away. The sheep think Brenda is probably the best sheep they have ever met. She is so very tall, has nice pointy teeth, and her wool is all knitted and colourful. All the sheep want to be just like Brenda. But Brenda has other things on her mind. All of these sheep are trying to be like Brenda. This one has a t-shirt that says, I heart Brenda. But, oh no, what's in Brenda's hand? Let's turn it around. It says 101 sheep recipes. <gasps> what's Brenda going to do? She is working hard on her special mint sauce recipe. The sheep have never had Brenda's special mint sauce, but she tells them it's very tasty. You just need to find the right thing to eat it with. Luckily, Brenda knows just the thing. She is getting ready for a feast. The sheep are very excited. Brenda tells the sheep to go to bed nice and early. She says there will be a surprise for them in the morning. A delicious surprise. Oh no. What do you think is going to happen next? If you're watching this with a grown-up, tell them. If you're watching this with other boys and girls, tell them what you think. What do you think is going to happen next? Brenda has to wait a very long time for the sheep to go to sleep. But at last, they begin to nod off one by one. Brenda counts them on her claws. One yummy sheep. Two yummy sheep. Three yummy sheep. Said, bah, bah, 
By the time Brenda wakes up, the sheep have made a surprise of their own. There is grass stew and grass pie and grass burgers and grass lasagna and grass sandwiches and grass sausages and for pudding, grass biscuits with a delicious sauce to pour over it all. This is not the feast Brenda had planned. But when she sees everything her friends have done for her, Brenda can't help but join in the fun. Because after all, Brenda is a sheep. The end. I hope you've enjoyed today's story. Can you think of any other stories that have wolves in them? Why don't you tell your adults around you or the boys and girls around you? And if your grown-ups are seeing this online, there are lots of activities to go with this story that we've shared with you. We hope to see you again next week and we're going to have lots and lots more activities for you to do. So have a lovely weekend and we'll see you then. Bye!